welcome back guys on another new episode of Get Through Show, your favorite YouTube show. And today we have amazing people right here in the studio and also a very nice question that we want to ask. Should you support your boyfriend financially? I don't know, but we have to find out. Let's see you in a jiffy. Welcome back guys. I told you I have amazing people right here in the studio and you all know the topic. Should you support your boyfriend financially? This is really a question for you ladies out there, most especially. Would you support your boyfriend financially? I don't know who I'm going to start from, but on my far left, I have your boy, Ori, the young Mandela. And my immediate left, I have your boy, your lady, Aisha Yoli. And on my right hand side, I have your, your boy, Tunji David. Wow. Shout out to God. It's your boy, Victor Chibuza. Let's get down to it, guys. Okay. Should you support your boyfriend financially so sorry. <laughs> obviously i'm gonna start with you yoli because you're the beautiful queen in our midst and this topic is about you guys supporting your boyfriend financially so i will start from you just tell me would you support your boyfriend financially yes i would i'd support him financially i would yeah. <laughs> i definitely will okay and and also i want to ask um you know, some people take it like um, someone is manipulating, maybe a boyfriend is manipulating you by asking you financial help or something like that. And you just said you will help financially. So why do you think you can help financially? If not, let me put it this way. Why do other people see it as an, a, a maybe abusive or manipulating them to help financially when it comes to that? You just said yes, right? Yeah. Because it's you. Yes, mm. yes. But also, like, for example, um, should he think that mm. I would support him financially because I want to manipulate him? I think mm. that's a him thing. That's mm -hmm, something mm -hmm. that he needs to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, that wouldn't be the reasons why I'd be supporting him financially if it was a me thing, if you were asking in that sense, yeah, right? Yeah. But I know people sometimes think, then the outside people think that you're supporting your boyfriend financially because you want to manipulate that. I think that is then an outside opinion because it's not usually what usually happens in that relationship. I think if I had a partner and they needed financial help, I think they would have been in a position where they do need financial help. It wouldn't be in a, in a position where I'm trying to manipulate him because I don't think I go for those kind of characters. You know what I mean? I think I go for more... A uh, strong world who know where they are, oh. who know their place. You know what I mean. Like and if they... that person finds themselves that they need financial help, oh. I would feel that it's a predicament. It's where he is at that time, and as his woman or his partner, mm. I should support him. Mm. So I don't think we'll have anything when, if I speak personally, if you want to ask okay. personally, okay. I don't think we'll have anything where it becomes a definition of manipulation or mm. somebody taking power over the other person. No. Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm still I'm still on you. Um, yeah. There is there is some ladies whereby um, they're financially stable, right? Yeah. But they use their finances to get through a man. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So you want to support this guy because you want to get him. You want him. Do, do you get my, do you yeah, get what I ask? You're right, you're right. It happens quite often. But in those cases, also, it's because that person has other issues where it stems from. You know, okay. lack of like they're insecure, mm -hmm. like insecurity. Uh, you'd find I, I don't want to put it out there but I guess it is out there you'd find that and I'm not saying it, it's true no offense to the older ladies but mm -hmm. you'd find that an older lady usually is more highly likely to use that power yeah. dating a younger guy and they would financially then try to entice him so that they can be in that kind of environment yeah. I think I've experienced it more with older ladies mm -hmm. and also I've yeah. experienced it more that it often happens in a situation where the lady is actually very insecure about themselves and they find like money and uh you know giving someone you know money or spoiling them as some sort of power and that you know that hold that they have over a relationship or sometimes some ladies they do that if they have partners that cheat yeah and then yeah. they try to buy their love and mm -hmm. things like that okay. so it's different um, in all cases tj i'll ask you what do you think about this topic? What do you have to say? Now, first of all, um, if you have to, if you have a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, if you have to ask before some things are done, then you are with the wrong person. Okay. And why do you say so? Because... Um, sorry, oh, sorry, I didn't get that. If you have okay. to. So, you remember Vic said that um, if you're, you support your boyfriend, if your boyfriend asks you. Now, I'm saying that, first of all, 
with my, in my opinion, if I have to ask my woman for something, yeah. then she's not my person. Yeah, so you don't, I don't have to ask. There's yeah. certain... Um, that your woman will pick, will pick up. There's certain anxiety that comes in asking. Mm. I, for one, I'm not the ask type of person. Mm. Yeah. I may be hungry going through hell and back. I'm still smiling in front of yeah. camera yeah. and look as if something is happening. So if I have to, and that's also me as a person, mm. personified. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I, I've, I've, I've not had a partner that needs to ask me before I do. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's out there. And again now, um, Vic, it's sad that it's actually a topic. Because these are things that are supposed to flow organically, naturally. naturally. Yeah. So when they become a topic in our generation, is because it is a thing. It's a problem. It's a big deal. Yeah. Like now, you get people flaunt love on the social media and everybody goes, oh, oh, why is it, why does it look like it is something new? Because we really haven't, a lot of people have not experienced it. But then, in, in another world, you can't have such thing and people go, oh, because, you know, it's, it's what they are, you know, if you grow up around love, mm -hmm. love shouldn't, and, you know, so, like, you listen, so if you ask me now that what of men, uh, women who use that as uh, a part, I, I think... There's other issues. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. So a lot of people are insecure. And also, I always say this. We have so many walls built in us, Vic, mm -hmm. that I personally think everybody should go through a self-check. All right. Go through a self-check because, Vic, if I understand my weakness and I, I'm working on them, it's going to be easier for easy for me to communicate my weakness to Yoli. Because okay. now Yoli understand that this is my weakness. So now through there, we can actually strengthen ourselves together. Yeah. So if, if, if I'm in a fix for now, which I don't support um, a man depending on a woman's support. Yeah. I don't support that because, you know, the universe didn't make it that way. So let's say now because of this new society, women have been encouraged to have their own money and all of that and all of that. Of course, there are some settings that women are more financially, like a woman, a, a woman who earn more than the man. So the support shouldn't be until I ask. Yeah. Let it just flow naturally. Okay. So Ori, I'm going to also go to you. You already know what we're talking about. Yes, um, to me, general. <laughs> yeah, you, <clears throat> lady, helping your boyfriend. Mm. Supporting. Oh, uh, okay, supporting. <laughs> supporting your boyfriend. Yeah. We have great people out there, great female out there that have been doing it over the years, over and over. Okay. Helping. Yes, helping their guys, you know, building them. Yeah. I don't know if you were on the internet like about a month ago, where a guy has to share his own experience or his own testimony. He has been in Nigeria for a long time since he was born. Then his wife traveled to America. So that's, that's then the so lady have been taking responsibility. Mm. Financially, the guy is down. She tried like helping the, his husband or the husband to the America for more than three or four times. Eventually, he landed. And the guy was like, even when he got to America, the house rent, the feeding, and everything, now the woman, they take care of him. And at the end of the day, he's now okay now. He can take care of the family. And he was like, what am I going to do without this woman? I can't go back. So we've seen a lot. Of, and We've also seen where young ladies who help their fiancé, boyfriend, at the end of the day, nothing will happen. You know, so that is why I'm always saying, whether you are a guy helping your fiancé, who we, uh, you know, or you are a gay helping your <coughs> or guardy, you just have to be wise and know what is good for you. Because if you are helping a certain person, and what you are expecting in return, not money, mm. not anything like love, care, and some other things, it's not there. Then you are not doing the right thing. You need to leave. Because... Sorry, sorry I didn't understand that. Sorry. Yes. If you are? If, for example, a lady is giving, helping, supporting another guy. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the guy now doesn't take it seriously, still go outside, maybe shit on that girl, okay. or do some other sort of things, like, doesn't appreciate that girl, doesn't know the value of yeah. what the lady is putting on the table. Yeah. So there is no reason for you to move ahead for that kind of yeah. say, relationship. Sorry. You have to cut out immediately. That is not your husband. Oh. Your husband, or you're someone who wants to be in your life. Even if the person need, uh, have a challenges, the time you are helping, the person will appreciate. Yeah. And there will, will be a way of that person to give back. It doesn't have to be money, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But something must be given back to so show that you appreciate. Thank, Thank you. Yes. So if those things are there, then you guys are building future together. But if you think the person you are helping is taking you for stupidity or something, 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 you need to be wise. Don't waste your money on someone that you cannot go far from but at the or end, far from with. But at the end of the day, Ori, I'm not encouraging, yeah, I'm no, not en I'm not encouraging some guys to relax, sit back, and want a woman to, to support them, yeah, right? But at the end of the day, we have, we have good women out there yes. that knew Naturally, they can see that yeah, their I spouse, their, their husband, their boyfriend is passing through a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They just want to support. Mm. Not only financially, but also morally. morally. Because why? They knew that this is what I'm supposed to do as, yeah. as, as a pillar to this yeah. guy yeah. or someone that is closer to this guy. Mm. Remember that. But some, some ladies also want to do it for, for, for future references. They will start singing the things they have done for you without doing it with purely with their heart. They just want to use this, use the, the support to, 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 how can I put it, to cage you so that tomorrow they will remind you that I'm the one that did this for you. I'm the one that put you through. I'm the one that do this and that and that and that, right? Yeah. And also some guys are just sitting back there waiting for someone, a lady that is financially stable to, to mingle with. Yes, yes. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So at the end of the day, I'm not saying a woman supporting their, their boyfriend is bad, but have good intention while doing that. Yeah. Because some people, like Ori said, want something huge in return. You mean or, the or, motives. Yes, the motives. Yeah. of it. And I'm, I'm this kind of person that I don't want my woman to help me in as much as it, me being in a tight corner, right? I don't want my woman, I feel like I'm not man enough. I don't know if I'm being wrong. But I feel I'm like also that's just like a, a, a stigma or pressure that you guys put on yourselves no, no, because no, you I, are... Yeah, and, yeah, and we should also, stop that. It's, it's one of the things that also, it's yeah... A, it's, it's, a, it's a war, mm -hmm. right? right? Mm -hmm. because, because now, Vic, if you don't want that, mm -hmm. imagine a good woman like Yoli mm -hmm. wanting to support consistently mm -hmm. and you're blocking her from it. That can make her also to dis be distant from you. We should also, also debate in the fact that if you don't want that person who supports you to be me, then who is going it's to do that? Really you know what I mean? Really, I got your point, but I, you know, when you, before you, you say something, before, yes, before you say something, you might have passed through. No, of course. Yes, things as like we that. said, it's a wall of experience been, that yes. needs to be broken. I, I've down. been yeah. there, I've been there, whereas she started. You know, that's, saying that's, to people, sorry, saying to people, if you're doing it mm. constantly. Mm. If you are a man mm. in that house or in that relationship, and you are taking care of her, when it is down, she bring something out. Mm. Who won't be care about? Maybe she will be singing mm. because you have been sharing, and she know you are capable. At this time, you are not capable. Mm. She yeah. would definitely drop something. There so there like shouldn't be anything of uh, yeah, maybe she will be singing yeah. because yeah. you have been doing. You understand? So, if you have been doing that, your woman knows you they do. Mm. Yeah. And the woman knows at this present moment, my man cannot, and she has the right, she has the power, and she's doing it. I don't see any problem. Yeah, but the only thing you need to do at that time, appreciate yeah, and show her love. The only thing, as far as I'm concerned, I've had this thing in my head, you know, for a long time. No matter how wealthy I get in life, if I have a, a, a woman or a wife who wants to take some certain responsibility in the house, I will not stop her. That is yeah. So I've, I've, gone to, I've gone to realize that, but this is where I don't want men to stop. Men shouldn't now stop a woman that you care for. You give her money, for example. Now, when it now got to a point where she's taking care of some responsibilities, and then you now stop some responsibilities of you to her. That cannot I have problem with that. Because yeah. now, 
a man have a responsibility to a woman, regardless of whatever. And I, I, always make, I always say this among my friends. I was raised to take care of, to defend, to respect, and protect the female. That's how my, my, my parents raised me. I, I grew up seeing my dad do that. Mm. Like, my mom maybe, you know, do my, so my, my dad is that. So in terms of, so I always tell people that if Yoli's father is President Cyril Ramaphosa and my father is a farmer, or I'm not a guy who is as rich as obviously Yoli's dad, I always have that thing in my head that if I ask Yoli out and she accepts, no matter your Yoli's father's money, yeah. even though President Cyril Ramaphosa can afford the brand, the big name, if you really love me, I'm still going to buy you a small brand that I can buy to also know that I'm doing something. Yeah. I may not be that able to true. buy you the brand that your yeah. parent are, but yeah. I will not stop that responsibility of me man. to you, yeah. regardless of who you are. Also, shout out to Cyril, because I'd love to be your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, guys, so, so guys, so guys, can't we, can't we just talk about... And I also love to be your son-in-law. <laughs> President now, our papa before now, we president of a nation. He's, only, he's our father. I <laughs> default, you know what I mean? <laughs> I want that surname. <laughs> yes, and guys, can't we just talk about the, the ladies that can support their boyfriends financially and 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 use it afterwards? We have we have some ladies like that. Remember, yeah. Yeah. you see you see the after you see the afterwards you are yeah. talking about yeah. something led to something yeah. to bring out that thing, yeah. and it's also between guy and uh, girls. You, we, we 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 normally recently now we see things where a relationship will break up and the guy will go to the female's house yeah, and retrieve back the the phone, the bag, everything in bought. So you see now. So, <laughs> we should not justify <laughs> Also, I think recently I was I was exposed to I had to unlearn so many things and I had to learn mm. it that we, we we are talking about good women here. Yeah. I've come to uh, a level where I now understood and realized and I accept it with my own heart that if a man treat a woman right. We are talking about good women here, yeah. mm -hmm. not some, you know, if a man treat a good woman right, mm -hmm. like you tend to understand that what you put in her, she multiplies you and give it back yeah. to you. Yeah. So, yeah, so as far as this episode is concerned, I personally, yeah. I want to comment on the good women, okay. like Ori said, who yeah. support their man mm. in, in, without the man even asking. Good women that support with the right motive. And without wanting something in return. Yeah, it's, it, that's why I said the right motive. Hence, I said, you know, uh, uh, one, one of my mentors said something that I, he, he said, don't go into relation, don't go into relationship and marriage with the mentality of your parent or with the societal mentality that marriage is not easy. Yeah. I, I, I started breaking those words in my life and in my end over like about two years ago now. Because he said what we do, especially in Africa, is the cousins, the aunties that fortunately or unfortunately mm -hmm. get to be with the wrong partner are always feeding us with the negative that, oh, marriage is not easy, mm -hmm. marriage is not mm -hmm. easy. That it formulates something in our head that youth, man and woman are going to marriage now with battle axe and, and gun and shovel. Mm -hmm. that, a smallest, the smallest thing that can be communicated, like we always say, mm -hmm. we bring out our battle axe and it's scattered everything. So I broke down that word to now realize that, okay, you know what? You treat your own partner as, as, he, as he or she comes. And he said, get a partner that is ready to build with you. Mm -hmm. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah. You know, people who like, you know, no matter how it gets, I'm here with you, I'm here for you. We need to start deliberately loving the person to say, okay, I don't care. I don't care if either things are working well for you financially, and all, but I believe, and I'm stuck with you, I believe in your dreams, in your vision, mm -hmm. and in your purpose, and we can, because it, it gets to a point where you see women who decide deliberately, put on hold their purpose, to push your purpose to support you. To support you. Yeah. And that is amazing. I, I hardly see a man that, that can do that, but we are females who, who can actually do that. So as far as I'm concerned, shout out to every woman out there with the right motives, supporting their man, supporting their husband. I celebrate you.
and 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 also um just briefly um yoli what do you have to say like maybe there's some ladies out there they're still scared they don't want to they don't want to support financially because of what people might say or because uh how the she, man will turn. or because how the the the, the, the the man will be like or feeling less of himself yeah, yeah. Did you get what yeah, i mean just briefly things. just a few minutes or no just a few seconds can you just you know voice out to people out there to ladies out there that are few that they can't do it because of one two three yeah but they have good motives though to do it but yeah. because of you know also just uh well answering to that mm. i would just say like don't don't do it trying to figure out what the outcome is going to be just do it out of love regardless what the outcome is you have no control over that mm -hmm. if you if you love this person and you know this person do it out of love however it comes out it's something that's out of your control mm -hmm. you know and and when it does <clears throat> unfortunately maybe come out to be a, a bad decision or it doesn't turn out to be a good thing just learn to live with that be in acceptance with that you know it is what it is you know we're not all raised and brought up the same way mm -hmm. And you just at that uh, disadvantage. You just have to learn to accept it and move on, mm -hmm. because the mere fact that you're independent enough that you can support someone shows that you're strong, mm -hmm. uh, and you're a good person. So carry on and lead with that, and don't worry about the outcome. Sorry, right. just briefly. <clears throat> I think I think I think I think she said the right thing that I wanted to say because I I happen to been in that same situation before. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this as an, as an example. Yeah. I happened to my ex-girlfriend that I think I was doing, yes, that I was, no, that, that I think I was doing the right thing, you know, I did what I could yeah, do, yeah. that I think I was doing yeah. to build a family. But at the end of the day, she called me a mogun. <laughs> what mogun means like, um, like, no, someone who you are just collecting money and he All doesn't right. know what is a user. Is, a user. Yes. And my statement that day was, I didn't cause her, I didn't do anything. My statement that day was, I could have shed the tears with that statement. I said, but because I'm a man of my family, whatever I do for you, I've oh, done times 10 of that for my family. Mm -hmm. So I pray you meet your own mugu, but it will never do what I've done for you. Mm -hmm. And I kept on moving. Now, getting married to my wife, does that mean I should stop because... Uh, what I've yeah. experienced. No. Yeah, so. That's a cup of tea. Mm. It doesn't going to change the kind of person yeah. I am. Correct. I will still continue. Yes. My love of my life is there. I will now be using someone's experience to chase love of my life away. Mm. It doesn't make sense. But you just have to be wise yes. in whatever you are doing. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Well, guys, yo. Same thing I agree with the team. Um, if, if you're a woman and you're still scared to do something to support your boyfriend, your spouse, or whatever the case may be, you just have to do it out of love. You just have to do it because you want to do it. Because there's some women out there, they're just givers. You know, yeah. they're just born to give. They're just born to support. So they just want to support you morally, financially, spiritually, whichever way. But don't take it for granted. We guys sometimes, we also um, take advantage of that. When you meet a good woman that is supporting you, either way and then now you want to some to, guys, to some guys. Some you want to guys. take advantage yeah, of that. Advantage. I've been through <laughs> I've been through same thing Ori have been through but um it won't break me. It won't make me to not to do something for someone. And also like I said earlier, I'm this kind of person I don't want a woman to do something for me. It's not pride, I know. But sometimes it will be tough for someone to help you to support you financially. But in actual sense I don't want to be that person, you know. I don't want anybody to, to take off, to, to be like uh, angry about it. But personally, I like to figure myself out, yeah. figure my way out, okay. So. And I think that comes from a space of hurt. That's why you feel that way. Kind of. Yeah. You, get, you need to get over that hurt. I, say, I said I passed through a lot. So with that motive, give out of love. For this town, I don't build house for a woman. It's okay, Victor. No, it's okay, Victor. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, brother. I love you. Build house, buy car. Mm. Buy go five when it's still there expensive. But, 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 yeah. Put the girl in nursing school. Really, she think, no go. I don't know if it's right, but I think, I, I don't know if I should say that to, get, to guys that whatever you cannot let go, don't give it to a That's woman. It. Can I, is, it, is that yeah, right? Yeah. Is that right for me? Yo, guys, you already hear what the crew have to say about this. The only thing I have to tell you is that if you have the heart, if you're a giver, don't stop because of what people will say or what you achieve later on after helping your spouse financially. But also, 
don't forget to like share comment tell a friend to tell a friend this is get through show where it's happening it's your boy victor chibuza i will see you in the next episode and thanks to all the crew members